guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we will be uh, going around the old city of Bangkok. And today the master plan is Susan. So she will be doing most of the uh, talking. talking and uh, leading us to places. And myself, I'll be taking video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because there are a lot of contents coming up in this uh, coming days. So, yeah. So, I was looking at the Bangkok Post, which is one of the English newspapers here in Bangkok, and they had an article about exploring a small area of the old city. So, it had kind of an itinerary. They had a map, and then they had pictures of where they went. So, I'm just following. We're just this article recommended. So we're right. starting at uh, Samyang MRT, and then we're heading down to Rong Krung, which I believe is the oldest road in Bangkok. We're gonna hit another road, and then a couple smaller roads, including where the Chinatown Market is, and we're gonna end up at the Flower Market, which is along the river, and then from there we'll walk to Sanam Chai MRT. So we're basically walking from one MRT station to another, but we're not going Directly, we're kind of going doot, 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 and then back up to the other station. And and this whole will cover around 1.2 kilometers. Yeah, 1.2 square kilometers. So, so it's a small area. But but it have a lot of historical facts. Yeah, and, a lot to see. Uh, a lot to see. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's take them. This is Zane. She is also Naga from Manipur, which is the state that Warchi hunts from. So you're a college professor. I guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Teaching English. Yes, yes. So she knows a little bit of Dunkul, so Warchi and her can sometimes speak in Dunkul, which makes Warchi really happy. And Zane, why are you happiest to be with us on this trip today? <laughs> because I'm always alone. <laughs> okay. Always alone. And number two, what are we eating? Indian food. <laughs> So all you have yeah. to say is Indian food Indian and she's food and she's ready. Okay, let's go. Standing at a Klong, which in English is a canal, and Bangkok is full of canals, so much so that it's been called the Venice of the East. But this one was actually dug at the order of King Rama I, which right now we're on King Rama X. So that was the early 1780s. He ordered that this be dug to expand the city, and this is also the time that he built the Grand Palace. Um, so he expanded the city, and he also built this Klong or this canal to function as a moat with the Chao Phraya River which is to the west this canal is to the east to protect the city So this is where we ate lunch. Um, when I was mapping the route on Google, I saw this restaurant and there's a couple other Indian restaurants that are more expensive. No thanks. So here we got alu paratha for 40 baht. Alu paratha is like a, it's like roti, but it's thicker, I don't know. And there's potato stuffed inside. So I got some to go, 40 baht. Um, chicken curry was 100 baht. I think the butter chicken was 100 baht. The portions are small, but we just shared and we loved it. And we would highly recommend Tony's Nepalese restaurant right on the banks of the moat, right behind Warchi.
If I could hear my father's voice He would tell me to move on He would say I'll be just fine Yeah, he would tell me we have time Time to laugh, time to eat My favorite song is on Drinking wine until the dawn Knowing soon we'll be back home So this is Han Han, Sapan in Thai's bridge, and this is one of Bangkok's oldest bridges, and it's been reconstructed at least three times, and it's quite popular, and it connects one lane of Chinatown to another lane, and it's beautiful, and it doesn't feel like Bangkok. It's so hot in this area, it's like totally blocks all the air. Drinking wine until the dawn.